Welcome back. As we get closer to Halloween, I thought I'd try and share some creepy things you can do with some basic composite tips. This is part one of, probably, three parts to this. I have a video file that I exported from a video game, it's a dark scene with a street lamp. I also have this image capture that I took from the now long cancelled PT demo that was released on the PS4. This demo was meant to be the new Silent Hill game, I'm not bitter it got cancelled, honest. With the video, I will place this on my edit timeline and then reduce the overall length as needed. Then open in the fusion page. As usual we will see the media in node and the media out node. To avoid any confusion later on, press F2 to change the name of the media in node to your liking. This part will mainly be about tracking. Add a planar tracker node as shown. With the planar tracker node selected, draw a shape on the footage at an appropriate location on the clip that you want to track. In the inspector change the motion type to translation, rotation, and scale. Click the set button to set the reference frame. Then track forward or backwards. If the track is from a reference frame in the middle of the clip, once the tracking has completed in one direction, hit the go button to take you back to the reference frame and then track in the opposite direction so the whole clip is tracked. Congratulations, we now have some tracking data with which to attach our PT demo character to. Bring a background node into empty space, go to the inspector and drop the alpha to zero. We do this as the background node properties will automatically set to the canvas size as per the project settings. If I were to bring in an odd sized image assets, which I will do in this tutorial, the canvas size of those images will take precedence and cause some anomalies later on. Bring in your image asset of the PT demo character, press F2 to change the name. Bring in a polygon mask node and attach it to the blue mask input. With the polygon node selected, tick invert in the inspector and then draw around your character by dragging the PT demo character into one of the viewers. Once complete, untick invert. This was just to help be able to see what you are masking. You should now have a figure from the image cut out. Bring a merge node into empty space and connect the background node you created into the yellow background input. Then connect your PT demo character into the green foreground of the merge node. Now connect that merge node into the green foreground input of your planar tracker node. Little will immediately change, so go to the planar tracker node. Go to the inspector and change the operation mode to corner pin. This will show a box on screen where each corner can be moved to help change shape and position. In this case the box represents your PT demo character image and you should see the character. Move the box like this to establish the character in the scene somewhere. That is the end of part 1. We have successfully tracked the scene and added the character. Part 2 will be refining the composite, as we can see the character doesn't look embedded in the scene yet. Please subscribe and look out for part 2.